Rescue Crew, what is happening? It's Rachel, how's it going? I have not one, but two animated crits to review for you today. Uh, unfortunately, I've been a little bit behind on my reviewing because of extra hours at work and overtime and adult life, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, I have Maze Crate, which is the theme of Quirky. So it features a few comedy and gag anime. Uh, so I know um, Pop Team Epic is in this. Uh, Konosuba, I think, and a few others. So uh, that, that would be the first box I review. And then we have June's box, uh, which I think is um, Hunt or Epic. I know it's all adventure-based stuff. Uh, so I know there's uh, Fully Cooly or FLCL or uh, Monster Hunter in this. So uh, I've literally sliced them open. I have opened them up, had a quick peek and then shut the lid. I've not took anything out because I wanted to keep it a surprise for the review. So without further ado, I'm going to put this box here and get this big boy out and show you what is inside. So let's open the lid and see what's inside so first off is the poster which we don't want uh because it has everything on the back so i don't want to spoil so ooh, there's a big squishy thing and there's a big what well, feels like a t-shirt so i'm going to go for the t-shirt first oh and it's blue my favorite color so oh, oh okay <laughs> i can see who's on it straight away so boom, 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 boom. it is one of the characters from pop team epic and her partner in crime on the back. I don't know the names of these characters. I haven't given this anime a watch. I've seen clips of it in like weird anime meme videos and stuff and I've seen loads posted over Facebook and I've seen the dub and it is quite hilarious because uh, some of the guys from Dragon Ball do the dub. I think it's Chris Sabat and Ian Sinclair um, who aka Vegeta and Whis from Dragon Ball um, but, um yeah it's something, uh, so it's quite a nice printed shirt and um, so I'll wear it definitely because I love blue it's a nice summery colour and it will show my anime pride on the front and the back so that's a cool shirt next up I had the squeak squishy thing and it is a cushion and it features some little pixelated characters uh, I haven't had a quick look i I think it's from, oh, it is from Konosuba. Uh, so um, I know this is a fantasy based anime and I've seen pictures of the characters and I'm not too sure what the anime is about because uh, it's not for something I watch because there's 101 different fantasy animes out there and it's just catching up with everything is just so difficult. But I do have a like that pillar. It sort of gives a slight sort of old school Final Fantasy vibe. So I do like it and it's got some cute little characters on the back there. I, I know a few of my friends uh, from work watch this and they were actually talking to me about this the other day. So um, I might give one of the episodes a watch and see what it's like. So you never know, it might be really good. Next up we have a slightly weird item. It's um, a handkerchief. Uh, I did uh, look at this before because it actually slipped out the box because it was so thin. It was just on the top and uh, it's a uh, weird handkerchief of the pineapple pen guy and I thought that this meme song thing passed a long long time ago but it's another nice sort of silky fabric and um yeah uh, it's not something I'd pick as an anime box item personally but man the box name is quirky so they were going with quirky so man, fair play loot crate Okay, next up we have the pin, and they are pretty much sticking with these big size double back pins at the moment. And uh, this is from a um, manga that I have seen featured on the uh, NHK World Program Imagination. Um, if you've not watched Imagination, if you have Sky, uh, Channel 507, they're a great channel. They have uh, good Japanese culture programs. Uh, they occasionally have a Kawi culture program um, called... Um, Darn it. <laughs> I forgot what it's called. It, it's been a while since I've watched it actually. Uh, Kali International, there we go. Sorry, my brain just kind of went, it's hot and I'm bothered. <laughs> and uh, they do have some good cooking shows, language, technique programs and everything. So it's worth a watch. And they do have good news reports to be fair. Uh, but anyway, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, uh, yeah, this was featured on um, Imagination. And basically uh, it's a um, fantasy anime where basically uh, they hunt 
for dragons for food and they try all different cooking techniques and it's all the hilarious sort of antics of how they capture dragons and what they do with the meat so um yeah it's definitely something i want to read uh so yeah um if you have the pin you can use the code to unlock the first chapter of the book and uh, give it a read so i'm definitely going to check this out because i absolutely love cooking anime and i've been watching food wars absolutely religiously <laughs> and it's been really really tough because all the episodes are every two weeks um but anyway um this one is definitely worth a read and the artwork is really super cool so yay i'm very happy with that and last up we have a manga and this is from the series uh bakuno i've seen this featured a lot on uh the top tens on um, mojo.com and uh, basically it's uh, set in 1927 and follows sort of uh eight different couples of like characters and um, through the situations so it's like gangsters it's like swindlers and assassins and stuff uh so it does look really cool so i've been meaning to actually get a look at this so um let's have a look at the premise so new york 1927 in corrupt city where crime rules the streets Firo Procasanchinazo, sorry it's an Italian name, it's hard to pronounce, yeah I can pronounce Japanese names, <laughs> is in the Kumara, an Italian crime syndicate district from the Mafia. Though a member of a relatively small Martello family, Firo has big ambitions and is determined to make his mark. While the Martellos may not be the baddest guys on the block, they have distinct advantages working in their favour. Does Firo have what it takes to be the main man? Let the crazy ruckus begin. So basically it's like all the hijinks and adventures of the um the guys there's like gambling and there's like train heists and everything and uh the artwork's nice um i'm not quite sure how it's sort of st it has quirky moments but there are some very dark moments in this and um series as well um but yeah i'm super glad to get this book and give it a read so this will be my uh lunchtime work read tomorrow so yay and last but not least, we have the Loot Crate box, and seeing as the quirky theme, it is of Pop Team Epic, and it's like of a one gag, it's a, like a gag manga strip, so basically uh, these are like the comedy strips in some books like K-On! and um, other series like Lucky Star, uh, so it's basically a full panel gag. Unfortunately, it's in Japanese text and I can't read it. Um, so hopefully on the post it might translate. Um, so I'm not quite sure as to what's going on. Um, not sure. Uh, but she's in that pose on the t-shirt, so I'm guessing it's kind of linked to that. So I'm going to have a look at the poster and have a look at that. Okay, so to the Zier poster, for the featuring artwork is from the anime of the um, cushion item, sorry. Uh, so it's from uh, Konosuba, God's Blessing on the Wonderful World. So uh, yeah, as far as I know, uh, that's the main, blue haired chick is the main quirky girl, uh, that's the main protagonist, and that chick's into explosions. <laughs> that's all I can remember from seeing brief clips of this. But anyway, to the items. So we had the weird uh, handkerchief, a Pikataro handkerchief combining fruits and pens is a messy endeavour and can any spills with the handkerchief celebrating the creator of the delightful pineapple pen and his new series okay so he has a book series okay that's interesting i didn't know that uh then we had the uh delicious in dungeon pin uh so cook up fun adventures and delicious dungeon monsters with the pin featuring the cover from the first book haven't read it read go to lootcreek.com pins and get your free copy so i'm definitely going to do that because i love reading books and uh, then we had the konosuba pillow and the loot crate special edition cover of um bakuno and then we had the exclusive pop team epic shirt of um popico and pipimin okay so that's their names i finally learned what their names are but i don't know who's who so i still need to find out so okay so that was the may box so i'm very happy with that okay guys it's time for box number two and this is june's crate so i'm going to open it up i can't remember what the theme was i know it was all adventure based uh so i'm just gonna dive into the poster and just get the name really quick so 
Uh, okay, now I remember. <laughs> All right, so uh, this box theme is alternate universes. So uh, features a fully coolie, uh, monster hunter, and a few other things. So let's dive into the box. And as always, the first item is the shirt, and this is bright yellow. Uh, generally, I don't like bright yellow, so I'm hopefully gonna like what's on the shirt. So I'm just gonna lift him up for you to view first. So boop, boop, boop. Ah, okay, and lo and behold, it is Fully Cully, and this is from the uh, newest series uh, for the, I think it was for the anniversary, and um, I think it was like a three-part series, I'm not sure, uh, I haven't watched the original Fully Cully, um, sorry, everyone calls it Fully Cully for short, it's just a lot easier to pronounce, um, but I've, I've seen clips of the original, and it really weirded me out, with like the robots coming up the guy's head and everything, and it just didn't seem one for me to sort of approach but um i have got the uh book uh, the the original manga so um i'm going to have to try and give it a read and see if it's worth sort of catching up with the anime and then going on to the new series uh i wouldn't wear your shirt but uh i might find someone that would appreciate it next up we have a hat and it features a kitty I think. I'm not quite sure what this is from. And oh, oh it's on the back. <laughs> uh, this is from uh, Monster Hunter Online or Monster Hunter Stories, it says. And um, it's quite unusual. It's sort of a tannish hat. Um, it'll probably go a lot with um, my sort of more army based colours. So I do like this. It's a little small. It feels more like a kid's hat. I'm not quite sure on the style, uh, but hey, um, it's uh, one for the cap collection. Um, I don't play Monster Hunter. Um, I it's just I've, it's usually been on PlayStation or PSP, so I've never had a chance to properly play it. Um, but now it's on the Switch. Uh, I might see if I can download a demo to play, and then I can wear this hat with uh, Monster Hunter Pride. <laughs> so yay! Okay, next up we have the giant pin and featuring a new series that I've seen teased a lot recently and this is from the new anime Cells at Work and basically it's all about uh, the cells in the human body so it follows uh, sort of this I think she's the main protagonist I don't know her name she's a, a red blood cell and there's this really serious fellow here in the white who's a white blood cell and then it follows uh, all the other things in the body like um, the cells attacking viruses hurting the body and everything and uh, it took me back to a program we used to watch years and years ago there used to be this animated series very similar to like blood cells in the body and everything and how the body worked and I can't remember what it was called I'm not sure if it was French or American I'm not sure um, but it really does remind me of that so sorry if my camera's not focused on it quite as well um, it's a really nice artwork pin and it's definitely a series I want to check out because it looks really super well animated So um, yay, I'm hoping that's going to unlock something really interesting So hopefully the uh, first chapter of the book So yay Ooh, Ooh this is interesting uh, Now we have what looks like a copy of a original cell drawing Unfortunately it's quite pale so hopefully you can just about make it out uh, there's a character I'm not familiar with, and this is from Magical Girl Nanako Nanahona Reflection, and it's some sort of like angel girl or magic girl. So if you guys know what character this is, can you let me know? Because I'd be very interested to see. So uh, yeah, I do like that because I love concept art and everything. It's very interesting to see all the layouts because it's showing all the different colours of where all the different shading and everything has to go and what what background it has to be here and what speed it is. So yeah, that's a very interesting item. Very quirky. I like that have a manga i've got a lot of manga to read this month i keep getting told i keep pronouncing manga wrong i don't really care uh but anyway this is one of my all-time favorite books and one of my all-time favorite series that's been out this year it's the ancient magnus bride and uh it looks like it is yeah book number one and it's a exclusive loot crate edition cover so i'm really super pleased because i do love getting exclusive cover variants especially if it's the first book so uh features obviously the uh, protagonist Agnes Chise and um, Ele so I can't Elias, sorry, I keep getting his name all tongue tied, and uh, features all the other characters on the book. So we have the priest and the fairies and everything. So, yay, I'm really super happy with that. Um, if you haven't read Ancient Magnus Bride, I really 
super recommend it. Um, the artwork in these books are gorgeous. Uh, look at that artwork, it's so pretty. And uh, yeah, um, you probably saw from my last uh, review when I did the Hot Topic crate, I pretty much explained the premise, but if you missed it, uh, it's basically uh, Chise. She's uh, what's called a sleigh baggy, which is a um, very high magic user, or she stores a lot of magic. Uh, but fortunately, they don't live for very long if they do use it. And uh, Elias, who's kind of like a, a sort of very, um, sort of a demon we don't know an awful lot about, um, who's also a magician, um, buys her in an auction in Japan and takes her back to London in a sort of countryside house. And she sort of learns about all the different, uh, like, uh, fey folk and creatures and crystals, magic, dragons. She goes to Iceland to meet all the dragons and she meets all the Shakespearean fairy folk. And it's just really super good. And the artwork is beautiful. The music's so good. And it's really very emotional series it looks at dark things like depression death guilt and everything but still there's very light hearted moments between Elias and Chise and sort of their their bond that grows um sort of later in the series and I'm super looking forward to it there's going to be another series later this year or hopefully next year but yeah definitely worth one checking out really recommend it <laughs> And this month's box, uh, it's nothing really worth folding out. It just features a load of uh, chippy monsters from the uh, Monster Hunter series. Um, but nevertheless, one of the boxes I will keep because I love folding these out and I love throwing all my letters and everything in them because <laughs> you can find the boxes quite super clear and you remember you put bank statements in a... Um, a box covered in dragons and monsters. And next up, as always, we have the poster, uh, sort of explaining everything. So if there's anything you don't know, it will be explained on the poster. And obviously, Bully Coolie's the very prominent theme of these this month's box. So uh, really nice artwork. So I'm guessing that's from the um, promo art. And we have the protagonist. Unfortunately, I don't know their names because I haven't watched it or read it. Um, but yay, a super nice for any uh, sort of old school 90s anime fan. And on the back, we have everything over in here. So we had the um, exclusive fully Kuli shirt, uh, or FLCL for the ones who really call it protocol that way. Then we had the exclusive cover variant of the HM Magnus Bride that I just showed you. Uh, we had the Sales at Work pin, and comes with a, yay, a free digital copy of the uh, first book. So, gonna download that definitely. Uh, and then we had the Monster Hunter baseball hat, and there were two variants, it was brown or cream. I would have liked brown, but no, I like tan anyway, because it'll go with my um, Zelda shirts I wear. And then we had the Magical Girl Lila Hana print. Uh, so join Kire and Iris from Planet Eltaria on the quest to a strange planet known as Earth, where they must save their dying homeworld receive one of three magical girls art prints as colorful character sketches so unfortunately they don't tell us who the character is i do recognize this girl though she has orange hair and wears like a blue and white sailor dress so uh, i thought that series ended ages ago i was sort of like out in the early 2000s so i'm quite surprised it is still going but it has a strong fan base in japan so i'm not Cool. I'm cool with that. But we um, have a couple of announcements from Loot Anime. So we have the themes for uh, the cut next upcoming boxes. So uh, July's theme is action. So we have uh, Naruto Shippuden, uh, Alita Battle Angel, uh, Zodiac War, and Goblin Slayer. Uh, so I know Naruto, and I've still need to read the um, Elita manga that was in a couple boxes back so uh yeah really need to catch up and the August one has just been announced today so really super looking forward to this box because it's uh, Attack on Titan, uh, My Hero Academia, Black Lagoon and Bungo Stray Dogs. I've not watched Black Lagoon uh but uh, I've got friends out there that will um pretty much want the item off me straight away but uh hopefully it's going to be a really super cool uh, Attack of Titan or um, Hero Academia item. I'm really hoping they'll put the Bakugo figure in to go with the um, the Deku figure that we had a few months ago because I love that figure. It's so pretty. Well, not, not pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool. There we go. <laughs> so, anyway, guys, I'll say me prattling on. I hope you enjoyed the review. And until next time, I will say sayonara des and stay nerdy, stay happy, and keep collecting. Bye bye. Thank you.